What's up guys, Captain Coin Collector here, and in today's video, I'll be going through a box of quarters that I got from Charleston, South Carolina. All right guys, I'm on the ship. We are in Galveston, Texas, heading up the Houston Ship Channel all the way to our dock in Galena Park, Texas, better known as Houston, but anyway, I have some downtime before I go to bed and I'm going to be going through a box of quarters to see what we can find from this box that I got in Charleston about a month ago. If you want to see the last Charleston hunt, I went through $380 worth of half dollars. I'll leave a link right up here. But in the meantime, I'm very excited to see what we can find in these $500 worth of quarters because it's been a while since I went through a box of coins. So let's open up this box and see what we got inside. We're looking for W's. We're looking for 2009 to 2012s. We're looking for proofs, NIFCs, and more. Let's see what we can pull from this box. All right, guys, again, sorry about the vibrations. I am on a ship right now, headed up the Houston ship channel. But anyway, guys, let's open up this box to see if we have a circulated box first and foremost. And looks like we got some circulated coins so i will let you know when i find something good also guys i have the coins of the 20th century book right here and i'll be trying to fill as many spots as i can with it for quarters we don't have any quarters yet in the books so we'll be looking for that barber standing liberty silver washington clad bicentennial and statehood quarter hopefully we can find the main three. It would be really cool if we did find that Washington Silver, though. All right, guys, we are on roll number six, and we got our first find. And it's going to be an NIFC. You can tell it's an NIFC by that San Francisco mint mark. So let's see what it is. And it's a Hawaii Volcanoes. Awesome. Let's put on the scope to see a better picture of that S mint mark. Wow, guys. Very cool to find that NIFC Hawaii Volcanoes 2012. The very next roll, guys, I saw it by the back of this coin. And here we go. You see that shiny finish. Though it's in beat up shape, we do have a proof. You can see by that S mint mark right over there. We'll put it underneath the scope to get a better picture yet again. But you can see that S mint mark for the shiny finish of this proof quarter from Maryland. Our next find will be the Block Island Error, which is that die chip right in between the bird's body and tail feather. Roll number 18 is gonna give us this shiny Cumberland Island quarter, which I believe is gonna be another NIFC. And we flip it over and awesome, another S mint mark. Here it is underneath the microscope, clear as day, another S San Francisco Mint Mark NIFC. Awesome. Roll number 23 is going to give us yet another one, guys. Another S Mint Mark. Let's see which one it is this time. And it's a Marsh Billings Rockefeller. If only it was a W, but I will take the NIFC any day. That makes three NIFCs, one proof so far, and halfway through the box. We're on the same roll, guys, and look at what we just got. Not only did we get that S Marsh Billing Rockefeller 2020, but we got a 2020 W. You can tell it's a 2020 W by that V75 Privy Mark and the fact that we do have that W West Point Mint Mark. And it's going to be a national park. I haven't found one of these in a while, so I'm pretty happy to find another W after a while of not coin roll hunting a box of quarters. So I'll put that under the scope and you can clearly see that W mint mark. Roll number 25 is gonna give us our first Washington crosses the Delaware error, which is the die chip right on the corner of Washington's hat. Currently, I'm on roll number 30 and we got a nice and shiny Ellis Island quarter right here. And when we flip it over, there's another S mint mark. NIFC number five for this Charleston box. Roll number 31 and we got another shiny quarter here. This time the Everglades and it's gonna be another, as you can see, 
San Francisco quarter. Roll number 38 is gonna give us an In God We Rust error, and if you know, you know, it is on the Kansas State quarter. All right, guys, that was honestly one of the best hunts I've done in a while, and this is what I found. So I'll start right over here. We got 22 shinies that I'll be adding to my archived collection, but we did find 20 2009 to 2012, and those are the low mintage years. If you're new to my channel, I do collect all the 1998 coins that I do come across, and I got 28 of them. I collect them because that was the year I was born, and I have a big bank full of coins from that year, 1998. Moving on, I did find eight bicentennials, both from the Philadelphia and Denver mints. We found some errors as well, four of them on the Block Island quarter. The die chip right above the bird's body found two Washington crosses the Delaware quarters with the die chip on George Washington's hat, as well as an In God We Rust quarter error with the Kansas reverse. Moving on to our best finds, we found five of them in all, and they are the NIFCs, San Francisco minted quarters from the National Park series, all of which that have the S mint mark. In addition, we found another S, which happened to be a proof, a very beat up one, but it is a state quarter from Maryland, San Francisco minted, and that was a good find as well. Possibly the best find of the box has to be that W quarter though. There you can see that W mint mark on the right side of the coin, and we flip it over to National Park Series. It's 2020, and how you can tell it's a 2020 is by that V75 privy mark on the left side of the coin. But these quarters have a high premium and are selling for between $10 and $20. So definitely the best find of the box. But overall, it was a really good box, and we did find a lot of coins to keep and put towards the collection. All right, guys, so since I'm on the ship, I don't have my full books with me, so I won't be able to place the finds from today's hunt into my Quarter Hunt and Fill series. So instead, I purchased this book to try to fill as many spots as I can while on the ship. And as you can see, we got cents, nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars, and dollar coins. Today, we did a Quarter Hunt from Charleston, and we're going to fill a few spots in it. We didn't find a Barber, Standing Liberty, or Washington Silver Quarter, but we did find, first of all, the Washington Clad, which is a very common one, the 1965 through 1998 series. And since I was born in the year 1998, and it's the last year of the Washington Clad, I'm gonna put a good example of that one inside the book as our first quarter dollar. The second one is the Bicentennial. The Bicentennial Quarter was in 1976, representing the 200th anniversary of the United States of America. So I found a good example of Philadelphia Quarter, and I'm gonna put it in the book as well. Last but not least, we'll have the Statehood Quarter, which was 1999 through 2008. I was gonna put a South Carolina Quarter in here since I did get this box from South Carolina, but we did find that proof in the box. So I'm gonna put this example in the book instead. So here we go, putting it right in the book as our first statehood quarter of the book. That means in total guys, we have five spots filled. A whole lot more spots to go, but a whole lot more coins to go through while on the ship. Well guys, I appreciate you guys tuning into this quarter hunt and it was a really good one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content just like this in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, guys, happy hunting.